Haskell Indian Nations University. Founded in 1884 as the United States Indian Industrial Training School, was a boarding school for American Indian children. It has grown throughout the years into an accredited university whose athletics program competes within the National Association of Independent Athletics as an independent member. Historically a football powerhouse, its program has produced outstanding athletes such as Jim Thorpe, Billy Mills, and Lewis Weller. As of late, however, the athletic program is shrinking due to financial shortfalls as well as other struggles. In 2015, the football program was suspended indefinitely due to the rising costs of maintaining a competitive football team. In May of 2017, the university announced that they would also be suspending the university's track and field program, citing multiple reasons, including lack of funding and lack of a permanent athletic director. While normally Haskell would have the opportunity to hire a new athletic director immediately, a federal hiring freeze enacted by an executive order from the office of President Donald Trump on January 22, 2017 has prevented the university from being able to do so. The financial struggles of Haskell go far beyond this issue, however, as the annual cost to maintain the track and field program is only $8,000, not including coaches' salaries. Many would not consider this to be an effective budget cut with such low costs, but the university said that the participation in the track and field program was not proportional to the university's enrollment. Sadly though, these financial struggles see no end in sight. Haskell is funded by the federal government and it is the only university operated by the United States Bureau of Indian Education, meaning that Kansas lawmakers could somewhat easily request more funding to the university or even special permission to hire an athletic director. But with the issues at hand within not only Kansas but the entire United States, this is not something that is at the top of the political agenda. One bright spot for the program, however, is the outpouring of support from students and the public alike. While the two sports may not have been competitive recently, they are historically successful in both football and track and field. Many think that suspending the programs will only be a short-term answer, giving Haskell Athletics an opportunity to rebuild once a permanent athletic director is hired and can provide sound leadership. According to NAIA standards, the university must report each spring as to what sports will be active in the upcoming school year, which means that the suspensions could be revisited in 2018. The Haskell Fighting Indians are a huge part of the athletic history within the state of Kansas. The loss of the athletic program at Haskell would be a huge blow to not only Kansas, but the entire population of Native Americans as the program has historically been a proving ground when it comes to modern American sports. Both the sports world and the Native American community will be closely watching Haskell in the upcoming years and hoping for a turnaround that comes sooner rather than later.